always wonder what my job looks like on camera. Right, seriously, seriously, it's stuck. Where's my beer gone? Sesto. That's the way to do it. Oi, pessoas, tudo bem com vocês? Eu vou responder suas perguntas. Antes de começar, se inscreve no meu canal, fale com Jake, subscribe and stand there. That I'm likey, give a thumbs up. Yeah, what more can I say? The questions that you sent to me on Instagram, I answered a few of them on Instagram and I have some here and I'm gonna respond to them on this YouTube uh, video right now. Primeiro pergunta, qual a importância sobre a reina para os britânicos? How important is the queen to the British people? <sighs> it's a good question. It's not really a good question because everyone asks this, but <laughs> I think it varies to be honest. I think the older generation admired the royal family, the queen, and I think it has time has moved on, it's kind of lost its uh, importance for, for, the, for the nation. I mean, I think they still have like a massive importance and an identity about the UK. For me personally, it's, I don't follow them. I don't know so much about the royal family. I just know about as much as the average British person, which is not really that much. So um, yeah, to answer that question, not really. Have I watched The Crown? No, never watched The Crown. So that kind of answers it in itself, doesn't it? Okay, so the next question. Você, você se acha frio como um típico UK? Ou você acha que é mais caloroso e por isso gosta do Brasil? Do you think you are cold like typical British? Or do you think you are warm, a warm person that's why you like Brazil? It's a very good question actually. I think that like typically British people are a bit more reserved. I think we're generally we're nice people. I think it's just in our nature to be a bit more cold. And growing up in England, I think that of course that is part of the way I am. Having traveled to like other countries, the cultures there with people that are slightly more friendly, warm when you first meet them. I've always really liked that. I've liked that because I'm the same kind of person. I prefer to be like friendly and just kind and have a good conversation with someone even if I don't know them. So I think this is a big reason why I really like Brazil is because that I can just kind of forget that I'm British and that I have to have this cold exterior and I can just be myself, which is someone who really likes to talk to people and get to know people. So yeah, I, I would say that it's definitely one of the reasons that I like Brazil. Uh, qual a coisa que mais surpreende um britânico em relação ao Brasil? What surprised me the most about Brazil? I think for me is the, the culture of the families, very, very close. Uh, I grew up with like my my two parents and my two brothers and you know we spent every day together as as children as we've grown up we we don't see each other that much but we definitely like to see each other a few times well more than a few times a year but we, we always make an effort to meet up together when it comes to my aunties and uncles when i did have grandparents i didn't see them that often i would see them maybe once every two months once every three months and in Brazil, it seems like you guys generalizing, but it seems like you guys see your family, like your uncles, your aunts, your grandparents, like way more often than uh, I personally did in, in the UK. And I know that a lot of families do in the UK. So I think this is probably something that surprises me most about, I would say, Brazilian culture. Como é sua rotina de estudos para aprender português? But to say in brief how I learn my, my routine in studying Portuguese, Firstly, I have a Brazilian tutor who I take uh, classes with twice a week over a Zoom chat. Um, so those help me be able to like actually conversate a little bit in, in Portuguese. Apart from that, I think using social media and having my Instagram is really helpful because I'm reading uh, Portuguese text every day. Um, so I think this has definitely improved my reading and my listening quite a lot. However, it hasn't really um, improved my speaking because I don't do much speaking on my Instagram. So perhaps I need to do some lives or something like that. But yeah, it is pretty much just the two lessons a week because I work full time at the moment. I don't really have much time to actually like study Portuguese. I would love to sit down and spend a bit more time actually studying it so I can learn specific things about Portuguese. Um, but yeah, that's something that I'll try and do in the future. Inglaterra, Reino Unido, ou Gra-Britannia? 
I've never said those words before in Portuguese. <laughs> Inglaterra is just England. So it's literally just main, like the country England. Um, and Great Britain is Wales, England and Scotland, which is the mainland. And then United Kingdom is with Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and then England as the total together. They're all self-governed. Wales is self-governed, Scotland is self-governed, Northern Ireland is self-governed. And I don't know exactly how it works as a whole government. It's, it's quite complicated, but um, yeah, that's pretty much the simple answer to that question. Uma Musica Brasileira. Okay, so recently discovered Tim Meyer and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. ah. So yeah, Tim Meyer is uh, one of my new favorites in Brazil. I love disco music, so yeah, Tim Meyer. Let's go with that. Você nomeará uma brasileira, né? Ne? Cheeky, cheeky uh, question. Yes, I do. Um, my girlfriend is Brazilian and we met in London. Yeah, we went to Brazil for the first time together in 2020, February for the carnival. And that's when I met her family. And that's when I got an insight into what Brazilian families are like. So yes, my girlfriend is Brazilian. Okay, você está aprendendo português. Okay, so that fits in perfectly with the last question. Like I said, my girlfriend's Brazilian, so that's one reason. But to be honest, she speaks very good English. Um, so originally I was being a bit lazy and I didn't actually make any effort to learn Portuguese, typical English person. But when I went to Brazil, I think like I tried to study a little bit more. When quarantine came, it was pretty much the moment for me to actually like no excuses because I had time to just to like spend learning Portuguese. Okay, so like I did like study French in school and failed miserably. Didn't really care, didn't want to speak French. Um, it was just one of those lessons that I could take a nap in. Tried to study a bit of Spanish once, about five years ago. Um, I probably did it for about a month or six weeks and I learned a little bit, but yeah, that was that. But this time when in quarantine and in Brazil and I started studying Portuguese, um, I did it with so much effort and just really started to enjoy it. I think because I was in Brazil as well. So this helped a lot because when I was in Brazil and learning a language felt really good. Um, so got a tutor that motivated me a little bit more, a lot more actually. It really helped to keep me like focused. And then I started posting videos on YouTube, which helped me like have a creative way of learning because I was doing like studying Portuguese to create a video and talk about my experience in studying Portuguese. Um, so this gave me like even more motivation and all these things combined is pretty much why I, I'm really determined to learn Portuguese and keep learning Portuguese. So yeah, that's like my many reasons for wanting to learn Portuguese. Tell us a perrengue de viagem. Ah God, okay. So in 2016, I traveled to Los Angeles in California. I went to stay with a friend who lived in a house share with like four other people. And obviously I've never met these people before. And she was living with her boyfriend also. Um, so there's like five people. So I only knew one person in between these six people that I stayed in the house. And I stayed on the sofa and it was in the middle of the house. Every time someone came out, it's like, hey, it's me again on the sofa. The, the bad thing is I went out to get some Mexican food on the first night. That same night, I probably like, I was just about to sleep and my stomach started rumbling. Let's just say I didn't sleep on the sofa that night. I basically spent all night in the toilet. Such a horrible experience because the toilet was the people that lived in there. It was right next to their bedroom. And I was just like, God, they could probably hear me in the toilet. It was so embarrassing. Yeah, it was really horrible. And I must've got food poisoning. I was staying in Los Angeles for about six and the food poisoning lasted for like four or five nights. I had a fever, couldn't stop going to the toilet. I felt terrible. Yeah, it was it was weird because I didn't know any of the people. So I was very, very uncomfortable. One of the guys even had like a bunch of friends over. Like he must have invited like six people over and I was just on the sofa dying with this fever and they was all like having drinks around me. <laughs> that is my um, my experience of a terrible situation while traveling. 
Jike Singyo, Zodiacal to it. Aries, yeah, April the 16th is my birthday. I'm an Aries. I'd say I'm probably quite a typical Aries, very stubborn. Yeah, I'll just go with that, very stubborn <laughs> and a hothead. Um, but there's positive things for Aries as well. I can't think what they are, but yeah, I'm an Aries. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think when you traveled to Brasilia? When I first went to Brasilia, I asked like, where's this, where's the center? Like, it, it's like in London, you have the center. In, in New York, you have the center. In, in Rio, you have the center. I know in Sao Paulo, you probably have like the center. It's where you begin. Brasilia just doesn't have that. The center is like exploded and spread out everywhere. The whole structure of it, it's just confusing. When I went out to some botecas and like some clubs, most typical cities, you walk out of a a bar or a club and you just kind of like walk into another one but in Brasilia you can't do that like everything's so spread out um, so yeah strange city but it's quite cool Ok da cultura brasileira se gosta mais uh, what's the Brazilian culture you like the most yeah I think it probably relates back to the the question I answered earlier about British people being cold and obviously my experience in Brazil was that people were a lot more friendlier initially um, so probably this is what I like about Brazil. Uh, I don't know, like you walk into a shop, it's a bit more friendlier. I think especially in London, it's a bit more cold. You can go into like a supermarket and not say a word to, to, to anyone. <laughs> not even the person, the cashier or nothing. Um, so yeah, it's the, these little small things that um, make the experience a lot more nicer to, to be in. Qual o sua lugar na fila da vacina? God knows, probably like 59 million in the year 2023 uh, <laughs> yeah there was a stat a statistic on uh, tv the other day 300,000 people are getting vaccinated a week there's about just over 63 million people in the uk at that rate everyone it will take three and a half years for everyone to be vaccinated so that answers your question my mum did actually get a vaccine my mum's a nurse so Basically, she was like priority in getting a vaccine. Um, so as soon as she can get vaccinated against the COVID, um, she can actually start <laughs> giving some vaccines to people as well. Um, we don't have enough people to, to vac vaccinate people quickly enough. For some reason, it's a complicated process. Qual a sua comida preferida do Brasil? It's a good question, but a difficult question because I like loads of different foods in Brazil. For me, uh, I really enjoy little snacks, like I'm a snack type of person. Um, I like to try different things. And I love pastel, cachinha, I love the cake, bolo de cenoura, brigadeiro, these kind of things that I really love about Brazil. But as a dish, I do enjoy like a chajasco with a hoist e feijão. If anyone's ever having a chajasco, you're welcome to invite me. Well, I like to have them myself, so if anyone wants to have a chajasco, let me know and I'll invite you. Okay, preferi frio ou Calor, probably calor because yeah, it's just more nicer. I feel more happy when it's hot, not when it's too hot, but yeah, cold is it's tough right now. Like it's minus two here and when I go outside, my ears are cold, my hands are cold. Um, it's just nice when it's sunny. You can do more things outdoors. You, you can be outdoors more. I like to be outdoors. I like hiking. So yeah, definitely when it's when it's warm, um, I prefer that. Si senti alquido? A key. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I felt very welcome in Brazil as soon as I got there really. I went to Rio, uh, met my girlfriend's aunts and they were really welcoming. Like I, I went there, I arrived in Rio at like 7am and had breakfast and there was probably about every dish you can imagine on the, on, the, on the table. Yeah, I felt very welcome in Brazil, not only just like on the family side of things, but also in general. Yeah, I had a good experience and felt, felt welcome, so definitely. Mostra ela nos videos. <laughs> Yeah, um, would love to. Actually trying to do a collab right now with my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> it's quite difficult. She's a bit camera shy, um, which I understand because, you know, like it takes a while for someone to get used to being in front of camera. But definitely want to do it soon. We could try and have a conversation in Portuguese on camera, which, which is something that I've been trying to ask her to do. But yeah, difficult. Tem Hisha Historica Entry Vocês e franceses, this is, this is franceses. Historic conflict between us. I guess there is a little bit, like, not like direct conflict like England and Germany because that's different. Um, but obviously like going back to the war, I think that even before the war we have, we've had like many conflicts with France. Current day conflicts, there's a little bit going on with Brexit, but in general, 
right now I work with a French guy, we, we get along, <laughs> we don't have any problems. I think we always have this thing about like stereotypes about the French and they have stereotypes about us. Um, but ultimately I don't think it's like anything bad. Like if I went to France, yeah, they'd probably hate me, but you get used to it. Okay, fez você se apaixonar pelo Brasil? I think probably the scenery mostly is so beautiful and so vast. Like I only traveled to four different ci cities um, and you know, furthest distance. I went from road trip from Brasilia to Bahia and uh, I was just in love with the scenery. The food as well, the food's so good. I love trying different types of food and the great thing is in Brazil, like you have different foods from north to south. Um, so yeah, like these things is, is is what I love about Brazil, the, the variety in foods and the variety in sceneries. I love nature, um, I love animals. So for me, like Brazil kind of has everything. And of course, like I said, I've always had a good experience. My experience in Brazil there. Eu troco uma casa na Bahia por uns tempos aí e você pode escolher Caraíba ou Trancoso. It's, de, it's a deal. Um, when do you want to do it? Because I probably can do it in about three weeks time actually. Um, so yeah, if you want to do that, let me know. I'd love to do that. I want to spend some more time in Brazil. So yeah, if anyone's got any houses in Bahia they want to swap for in London, let me know. Okay, now gosto no Brazil. Pode ser comida, costume, 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 lugar. The traffic's a bit wild. <laughs> like it's a bit frustrating being a passenger in a car. It's a weird thing in Brazil because they don't help you when you're driving. Like, for me in England, it's a slightly more kinder, but also on the flip side, we get angry quite easily and we shout a lot of things at each other. In Brazil, less of the shouting, but more of the not so kind driving. And yeah, that was something that I found a bit annoying in Brazil. Another thing was, I guess the bureaucracy is a little bit frustrating at times. Uh, when I was in Rio, we brought tickets to watch Flamengo and like the process to get the tickets was ridiculous. Like here in the UK, you can just buy the ticket and then print print it off and you get a barcode and you just go to the stadium. You had to like print it off, go to the shop and wait in a queue and then pick up, pick up a ticket there. It doesn't make sense. And that was the same thing for, for most things like any tourist attraction as well. So it's a bit annoying, but that's just life in Brazil, I guess. Now, em qual lugar do Brasil você gostaria Jimo Moha. There's so many different places in Brazil that I would like to live. I haven't been to the northeast of Brazil. I mean, I went to Bahia and I'll definitely like to live in Bahia. Um, but I know there's some nice places in the northeast like Fortaleza. Um, it would probably be quite nice to live. In Goais, you have Chapada dos Veadores. I was supposed to go there and I did a lot of research about that area. And it seems pretty cool, like quite like hippie vibes. And obviously it has many beautiful waterfalls around. And I, I kind of like the idea of living there. Sao Paulo because I'm, I've lived in London for like 10 years and I quite like living in London, although I, I really love nature. I'm quite a social person, so I like living in big cities where I can get to meet people from places all around the world. And I guess Sao Paulo would be able to offer that as well because it's such a big city and it's very cosmopolitan. There's a lot of different nationalities there. I think that I could probably get used to living in Sao Paulo quite easy. There's so many different places that I could I could choose. I think I need to travel a bit more in Brazil to, to really know, but um, yeah, let's just go with that. Você se sente um pouco brasileiro? Do I feel Brazilian? When I'm eating churrasco and feijão, I feel Brazilian, yes. Like when I'm immersing myself in the culture and I'm enjoying it a lot, I feel Brazilian. On a day-to-day -day basis, do I feel Brazilian? No, I feel English. Um, <laughs> because I grew up in England. I, I feel like I could connect with uh, Brazilians, I guess. Como se a ti segue agora? Qual sua área do atuação profissional? Okay, so if you don't know already, I work in TV production. Currently, I'm working on a TV show. It's a documentary that uh, broadcasts on BBC. My job was basically just assisting on location with filming. It could be doing a little bit of filming, but also helping out with uh, organizing the shoot. So yeah, I work in TV production, basically. I love to film. I consider myself a filmmaker. And that's pretty much my career summed up at the moment. Last one, Tiago. Have you considered doing lives? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not, no. The thing is with lives, like, I'll, here I'm comfortable because it's just me and the camera so I can talk and be myself. I think with doing lives, it's like a lot of pressure to make conversation. I'm quite like a, yeah, I don't like small talk. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite, okay, so I could be a little bit awkward sometimes, I think. So yeah, I, I would love to do lives and like, yeah, I, I want to try and do lives with some people, maybe practice a little bit of Portuguese. Um, so yeah, definitely something I want to consider in the future. If you have any ideas for like what you would like to see in live videos on Instagram, um, let me know, put in the comments some something that you think would be a good idea for me and I'll consider it. I'll, it's definitely something that I want to try and start doing is some more things to interact with my followers on, on Instagram. So yeah, um, would like to do some lives soon. So yeah, guys, um, I hope that helped you get to know me a little bit more. So yeah, put down in the comments if you want to know anything else, um, I'll try and answer them. Yeah, make sure you subscribe if you like the videos, if you like my channel, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you're happy with all my answers. Give me a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. It's Jake. See you guys in the next video. Ciao. Até mais, até logo.